Transformers, The Last Night. This is number, I don't know, five? I don't know. I lost count of the Transformers movies. This is Mark Wahlberg with people and they have to fucking do some medieval shit with a sword or something dumb. No, it's, uh, they have some age-old shit that's, like, a little gaunt thing that helps them with this chick, weird chick wants to fucking stop the earth. I'm just sick of this shit, to be honest. I enjoyed the first Transformers. Nothing else. This movie was, uh, it was like the shortest Transformers movie, like, it had, had so far. It's like, Two hours and fifteen minutes. That's the shortest. Come on, man. All right, this movie was exactly what I expected it to be: shitty action scenes, choppy action scenes, and literally changed the scenes. There's like widescreen and then full screen, widescreen, full screen, and they switch mid movie. Explosions. Mark Wahlberg running, making jokes. He actually did deliver some parts. No hate to Mark Wahlberg. I love Mark Wahlberg, but. This movie was just dumb. I didn't really understand the plot. It got pretty boring at times. It got very drawn out. Shit we've seen before. They're like, yeah, it's been medieval. Game of Thrones, bitch. And they throw swords around and then shit happens. And I really didn't care about any of this movie. Uh, everything that happened was predictable and boring. And nothing. I just kind of sat there and I was like, oh, shit. Like, I was very ready to leave this movie. But I never leave a movie. No matter how shitty it is. This movie just didn't deliver, in my mind. It had a few things that were fun, that were cool. A couple action scenes that were cool. Maybe four or five jokes are actually funny. And you're like, four that's pretty good, four or five jokes. That's out of about a hundred. They try a lot to make some jokes in this movie. Uh, and, you know, some things, you know, some very rare times they did pull off some cool things in this movie, but not often. This movie was literally no needed, no nothing needed. The Transform Transformers franchise isn't needed. Uh... This could have been one of the worst movies of the year if I didn't see Don't Have the Big Kid the week, the week before. But saying that, it, the Emoji movie's coming up. That's supposed to be absolutely shit. So, you know, this is my, I think, this will be my 11th review today. I'll film the once from King Arthur onwards. Uh, and then I'm doing The House next. I'm not, I've given one movie more than a B. One out of 12. That's ridiculous. This movie, this is not a good chunk of movies for a while, but saying that, the next four I've reviewed, the last four movies that I've seen, I've given a B plus or an A to. So, that shows you what I thought of these movies. I think you guys will know by now. It's Spider-Man, Dunkirk, War of the Planet of the Apes, and Baby Driver. Great movies. Um, I will review them. I've kind of given you a spoiler, just to extend this video a little bit. This movie wasn't good. Again, Transformers is really not needed anymore. They're doing a bubbly spinoff now with John Cena. Not John Cena, but what the fuck are they doing? This franchise is not leaving. Apparently, Michael Bay's not coming back, which means Mark Wahlberg won't come back. I'm glad. Stop making these movies. It was really drawn out, boring bullshit with these shitty action explosions. With shitty jokes. I'm giving it a D plus, just for those smidgens that made me laugh. That's all, guys. Have a good one. Subscribe, like, see you later.